There are many confusing translations within the English language between America and in the United Kingdom. For example, in the United Kingdom, gas is fuel, or more specifically, petrol. If somebody in the UK is in a bad mood, they will be stroppy or mardy. You could even say they've got the hump. One thing's for sure, they're definitely not having good banter. When driving to the airport, probably for an all-inclusive family holiday to Costa del Sol, you'd put your luggage in the boot. But in America, you'd put your luggage in the trunk. To someone in the UK, a trunk is actually that dangly thing hanging from an elephant's face. In England, a bathroom is where you go to bathe. But a toilet is the second room on the left. Please wash your hands. A warm summer's day in the UK is 20-something degrees Celsius. In America, 20 degrees feels very different. A British dog may weigh 11 stone 10 but an American dog would weigh 164 pounds, which is a nice bit of money in the UK. And yes, this does mean that not every dog in the UK is a corgi. When enjoying a cup of tea to celebrate the mid-afternoon, one might compliment the drink with a biscuit. In America, a biscuit is more like what we would call a scone or a crumpet. Biscuits in England are like American cookies, but harder and crunchier. But not too hard and crunchy, because then there will be crackers. And one last major difference is that in the United Kingdom, we still don't actually know what a Cardi B is. Across both the United Kingdom and America, there is one thing that is certain though. When it comes to fleet management, asset work speaks your language. Whether it's gas or petrol, inventory management, budgeting or life cycle cost analysis, asset work software can help. Head over to assetworks.com today to find out how our systems can help you run your fleet. Cheerio!